When you get on a port, there's just moving equipment everywhere. It's like a finely tuned ballet. From the minute I got in the industry, I've been fascinated with the idea of how much work it is to move a simple container from point A to point B. All the different equipment it takes to get that container off the ship and get the goods into your living room. The fact is, ships haven't stopped getting bigger, which means cranes have to get bigger. There's a lot of complex systems that work on a crane to make sure that that move is being done safely and efficiently. Festoon cables are common. With the way the system moves, the cables are smacking up against each other the whole time. You know, it's, it's not like they're working together, they're kind of tugging on one another, which is just putting tension on the cables and isn't good for cable health. Repairing them, it's, you have to access this huge dangling cable, so it's kind of a whole feat in itself. With the energy chain, it's contained in a chain that's contained in a trough that's protected from the environments. We actually have a life calculator for our cables and our chain to tell a customer exactly how long um, our system should last. I don't think any Festoon system can say that. So an energy chain is basically a cable management system for transferring power cables, control cables, fiber optic cables from a fixed point to a moving point. So on a ship to shore crane, that would be on the structure of the crane to the moving trolley itself. So take a festoon system, for example. Say a crane is unloading a ship and halfway through unloading that ship, the spreader bar is down in the ship and a trolley wheel fails and the festoon system fails. And now the crane is stuck halfway through loading that ship. That could have a major impact on the ports. They gotta stop unloading that ship. They gotta fix what's broken. They gotta get the crane back up and running. They've gotta do a lot of work that costs them a lot of money to be able to get that crane back up and running, that ship unloaded and out to its next port of call. I guess energy chain systems, we eliminate a lot of that maintenance. We eliminate a lot of that unscheduled downtime. So that crane keeps running day after day without any sort of downtime. In a modern container port, the vessel windows are tighter than ever. The vessel lines make money when their ships at sea. Now, unloading those containers is a necessary evil, but they want it to happen in the shortest possible time. You've got a tight window to get into the berth and get out. Now, as a terminal operator, you want that berth full all the time. As soon as one ship's done, you've got the next ship ready to come in. If the slightest little thing happens that makes one ship leave later than it was expected to, that's costing you money, that's costing your customer money, and it's costing the next customer who can't park yet money as well. So if you think about the history of IGIS in the ports, the first energy chain system that was on a North American crane was a ship to shore crane at the Port of Virginia that we retrofitted back in the early 2000s. Fast forward to today, and most customers for ship to shore cranes have seen the value of an IGIS energy chain, and that's what's being delivered on new cranes in North America now. Retrofitting a crane from a Festoon system to an IGIS energy chain system. There's a lot of different trades and people involved in making that happen. It all came down to design, fabricating steel brackets and beams to go onto the girder. We also had platforms fabricated so that we could access the energy chain once it's installed. That involved getting a crane company on site to lift up certain items. Once we had all the fabrication installed, we had to get the trough set up on the brackets. Once we had the trough level and in place, we had to get the chain installed. Uh, so that same crane company assisted us in bringing the chain up, and then we had to manually pull it into the trough. And then from there, fix down the fixed end and install the moving end to the tow arm. From there, we had to do full test runs and make sure everything was running smooth. And then from there, the finishing touch, we had to get a port authorized painting company out. So we had to time everything perfectly. When we were ready to install something, it couldn't really be like, maybe we're ready. It had to be like 100%, this is the day we're doing this, we're making this happen. We had to get those cranes on site, ready to go, and get whatever we needed installed as soon as possible. You're working on a crane 200 feet in the air, over the water. It's dangerous work. You can't really slip up on it. You gotta be precise. You don't want someone up there who's afraid. That's a danger to everyone else around you. And you have to make sure that you're, that you're safe. As ports become more and more automated and equipment becomes more and more automated and the operators are now taken out of the equation of running a crane, there's no longer somebody in a driver's seat hearing something vibrate that doesn't quite sound right, things can get damaged much faster. With our energy chain system, we can do some of that monitoring and we can kind of be the eyes and ears of that crane operator who may no longer be attached to that piece of equipment. 
Lanigas Energy Chain is a plastic chain made from glass-wound polymer materials that are injection molded into individual components. We design the cables. We use materials in the cables that are designed to work together with the chain. So you're getting the optimum cable performance and the optimum protection from our system. On our heavy-duty chains, we have integrated roller systems that help with the lifetime of the chain, the wear, the noise. So if you have a system that you just don't have to touch very often, that's sort of the ideal situation for managing your trades. With your smart plastic system, is a predictive maintenance system. It's modular. We can measure different specific attributes of the chain performance, and you can pick and choose. If you, all you care about is the push-pull force, and you want to watch out for obstacles, we can do that. If you want to detect a break in the chain, we can do that. We can combine it into one package. We're going to give you the information you need to interrupt the crane to prevent unplanned downtime. One other thing that I see in the future is the perfect marriage of our Orange Services division with Smart Plastics. You have a smart crane out there, we're monitoring the system and our team gets an alert when there's something that needs attention on your system or even when it's getting near the end of life. The other side of that is if you're working with us with Orange Services on regular annual inspections, your smart plastic system is gathering data that we can use when we're on site to maximize our impact on your operation. The steel fabricators, the painters, the sandblasters, the mechanical contractors, the electrical contractors, and we even go down to the level of getting your environmental group involved to make sure that everything is up to your standards. So we can take the project from start to finish with very little involvement from your team, all while having a confidence that the technology that you have today is gonna to be better than the technology you had yesterday.